I'm Dale Cox for 2 Egg TV. Now, Merritt's Mill Pond in Mariana, Florida, was one of the most beautiful spring-fed lakes you would find anywhere in the world. That was until about two years ago when this aquatic weed, Hydrilla, went crazy in it. Now everything has changed. Hydrilla has been in Merritt's Mill Pond for years, but for the most part it has been easy to control. The springs have remained unclogged and open for swimming, diving, and snorkeling, and the crystal clear water of the historic lake has welcomed visitors from around the world. You're speaking about grass. I, I, I'm seeing people talk all the time about the mill pond. Yeah, and the grass. yeah. Well, Can't help but talk cool. about the hydrilla. So, uh, over basically the past three years, the hydrilla in the mill pond has exploded. I mean, it has doubled every year for three years based on estimated acreages. Now, um, hydrilla in and of itself has to some extent always been in the mill pond, but there's been something changed in the either the hydrology or the nitrates or something that has made it explode in growth. And, you know, it is prime conditions for aquatic vegetation growth, especially highly invasive. Uh, like hydrilla so high nitrate loads you got consistent temperatures and you got consistent uh sunlight you know there's no dingy water or anything like that that restricts the, the sunlight from getting to the plant so i mean it's prime conditions and it has showed us what it can do most of those who live and work around the pond are screaming for something to be done but opinions differ as to what many want to draw down but there's winter and most people are not going to access it now anyway, so I think it would be a good time, even though we all hate to see it dry, but to draw it down and uh, and treat it. And uh, I think we'll have to take drastic action to, to solve this, because I've never seen it before, and I don't think any economically it's not viable to, to produce the amount of herbicide, I don't think, uh, to to do a drip system from the prices I'm getting. So I think a drawdown during the winter, maybe even hold it during the summer and let this sediment, we have a foot and a half of sediment, uh, it's lime rock, it's clean, but we have a foot and a half of sediment, it takes a long time to dry out. So we can leave it down during the summer, not only when the hot sun probably kill these weeds, but it also dry this sediment out, I think. So I thought a lot about it. I, I think that's what we're going to have to do at some point. Uh, because it's a terrible problem right now. Others worry about the double impact of a second drawdown in four years on the pond's multi-million dollar diving business. Cave adventurers said this afternoon that they believe another drawdown will achieve nothing. The company also pointed out that it has offered to go down around the springs, work in conjunction with mechanical methods, and pull up the hydrilla by the roots to remove it so it can be hauled away. The county, meanwhile, is trying to devise a plan. I mean, we are constantly working with FWC, and they're reaching out to some of their partners for input and assistance, and, you know, we're just kind of waiting on the next steps. We're currently waiting on a permit from the Corps of Engineers to go in and do a full-scale study on the not necessarily the hydrology, but the way the water moves down the pond so we can actually identify key areas that we could introduce herbicide that will have the most impact. So a dye study is going to be our next step to really see how we can input the herbicide most effectively and work through the affected area, I guess you could say, of the hydrilla. So that's where we're at. One thing is for sure, the spread of the hydrilla is not slowing. The smelly mats of weed will likely be at or into the head spring by next summer. Now, if you want to see more footage of what this lake looks like with hydrilla covering it, you can do that at 2AgTV.com. Or if you want to see more footage of it with the beautiful springs flowing and what it looks like when it's in all of its glory, you can also do that at our various 2AgTV channels. In Mariana, Florida, on Merritt's Mill Pond, I'm Dale Cox for 2AG TV.